Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2007 to year 2013. Guys, if you have one of those, if you need to find where the DRL lights fuse is located, also known as daytime running lights fuse, where you can find it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to do engines transmission mechanical bodywork a little bit of everything guys we have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs we have anything from american to german vehicles asian uh, anything guys so now uh, if you need to find let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the DRL lights fuse guys also known as daytime running lights fuse where you can expect to find it we will demonstrate on that generation GMC Sierra right here you guys have multiple fuse boxes in that GMC Sierra and today we'll be working just one that's right under the hood open the hood here guys okay if you look next to the brake pump on the driver's side you have that electrical box open that cover and underneath you will find the main engine fuse box that has a layout like this one here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below for the DRL lights guys, daytime running lights, we need to check not one but two fuses depending on which uh, uh, which model exactly GMC Sierra you have and which year as well. If you by the way need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for GMC Sierra or any car at a really good price quick shipping guys, we'll put the link in the description of the video below. Check it out, you can save a ton of money guys. Here we're going to work in that section towards the front. So if we zoom in, we need to check two fuses for the DRL lights. And the first fuse that we need to check is fuse number 31 right here. The second fuse that you need to check for the DRL lights, guys, is fuse number 33. So 31, 33 right here. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.